It's no secret that our bodies tell us how we see the world around us. The human body has an amazing ability to guide us through life in our own special way using all of our senses and those experiences. So when your senses have more to tell you than you're aware of, a new secret path might indeed change your life. Ina Siegel is the best-selling author of The Secret Language of Your Body, and we're thrilled to have her in our studio with us today. Very fascinating. What, um, what Americans, what should they look for in your book and techniques to help them out and, and kind of really listen to everything going on? Well, there's different things, but definitely connecting to the body, mm -hmm. breathing, listening. We have visualization techniques. There's techniques where you use pressure points. There's movement, you know, and there's uh, reprogramming your mind and your body. So this is really about enjoying your body, connecting to it, and making it become your friend. And it's amazing if you really do listen, you, you pick up on things. So that's an important thing to remember. Now you're Definitely. in your early 30s, but have already created a new healing approach. And um, you've produced over 30 audio programs, traveled around the world. When and how, this is important, listen at home. When and how did you start your healing journey? Well, you forgot to mention that I have two kids as well. And so. she has two kids, <laughs> and she's busy. <laughs> um, well, it really started for me because I was in so much pain, you oh. know. I had back pain where I could hardly walk. I had digestive problems. I had a skin condition called psoriasis, and I was stressed all the time and anxious. So I literally went and saw every doctor, mm. physiotherapist, chiropractor that you could imagine. And by the time I was 20, I woke up one day and I was in agony. My back was twisted, you know. And I told my husband, drive me to the chiropractor's office right now. Mm -hmm. It was the longest two minutes I've ever had in my life. Poor thing. You know, and when I actually got to his office, he came out and he looked at me and he walked around and then he said to me, your body's stuck. And I said, I know that part. <laughs> what are you going to do about <laughs> really? it? Like, and he actually looked at me in t straight into my eyes and he said, nothing. Your body wants to be stuck. Go home. I have to say, I wasn't in as much pain on the way home because I was so mad. Right, and then yeah. that led you to kind of start, yeah. what does he mean that I'm, yeah. that I'm well, what stuck? Is that yeah. Is that specifically the, what started yeah. this book? Definitely, and I went, back, went home, and because I had studied acting, and I knew all these visualization and breathing techniques and, you know, co connecting to the body, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to heal myself. And literally, I started discovering this new language of my body, hmm. and... Um, Within half an hour, I felt better. You Would know? you say is it, it a type of intuition? If, if people, you know, they they're intuitive, or does that matter? Or do you get to be that way? You get to be like you that do. when you connect with your body, you know. And I didn't know I was intuitive before that, but now that's what I do. That's you know, I can see inside people's bodies. You know, I can tell them what's going on. How do you do that? Is it a lot through the eyes scan? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just have to concentrate on the person for long enough and I start to get images and, and, and feelings and thoughts about them and usually they're pretty accurate. I've worked with doctors, you know, so we've had tests and everything done so that... What, you know, what, are, you, what are you reading about me? <laughs> you don't have enough time to do that. She's like, well, it's a long list, honey. We don't have all the time for that. Um, what's the difference then between external and then the internal with what you do? I, you mean intuition? Well, yeah. internal intuition is about us focusing on the body. You know, where do we have tension? Where do we have pain? Where, you know, do we feel like we need to rest or we're pushing ourselves too hard? You know, or, or when we go, when something inside us goes, okay, that's the answer. That's the thing to do. That's the way to go. That's internal. External is about kind of more universal where we get signs and signals or somebody says something and you go, oh my God, I can't believe you're saying this. Yeah. That's the answer I want, you know? Now, do you get a lot of support then from the medical world? Is this something that you can work with and around? And I've just been so fortunate because I've had incredible support from the medical community, from top doctors, you know, surgeons, nurses, you know, like mm -hmm. naturopaths, um, just, you know, physiotherapists, even um, psychologists, psychiatrists. So it's been fantastic. Now, what about children? Maybe if a parent is struggling with some things and they really can't figure mm. it out, is that... Is that applicable? Definitely. And one of the things that I say to people in my book, I have a whole section on color healing. And it's one of the best ways to work with children. I mean, I have two children. 
I've helped my daughter who was six to bring her fever down through How? color healing, through visualizing colors, through getting her to play, you know, to close her eyes and relax and meditate. And it was amazing, like literally 10 minutes. You really? know, I, I measured, you know, the temperature and 10 minutes later I measured again. She was much better. Oh, she could go to What do you think school. that is? Is it, it's, is it the calming? Is it? Yeah, I think, it, you know, blue is, a, is the color that we were using. I think it definitely, it calms you down. It relaxes, you know, um, the, and blue is a great color to cool the body in general. Huh. Whereas red, you know, really gets Vibrant. it going, you know, and great for people who have depression. Red. Well, this is fascinating. Yeah. And I'm just thumbing through this. I mean, you have um, just a lot of different things, the liver, the jaw that you would yeah, normally no, because think. people would have yeah, so much stress in the mm. jaw. And yeah. the idea is to really de-stress and so many processes. Yeah, they, I'm they, doing they, the exercise. <laughs> well, very good. I encourage people to pick up this book. Yeah. And in the secret language of your body, Ina Siegel provides an in-depth practical resource for anyone who desires a safe, easy, and effective way to self-heal. You can find it most bookstores and online. So check this out. Ina Siegel, that simple, dot com. We have a few copies to offer some lucky viewers. You'll need to email us the answer to this question. How did Ina Siegel develop her sense of awareness for healing? What was it about and, and what time of her life? We covered that earlier in our interview. She went somewhere special just now. Email your answer to coco at 9news.com. Please include your name, address, and phone number to win, and we will contact the winners after today's show. We'll see who gets that. Coming up next.